is going on, football fans? Back at it with another New York Giants video. Kind of a slow news day today for the New York Giants, but I wanted to touch on an article that came out, I think a day ago, from Paul Schwartz to just give my overall opinions on Joe Judge. But I'm going to feed off some of the quotes that were in that article, uh, coming from new players, coming from current players, and coming from former players. That's right, Tiki Barber actually complimented the New York Giants. I know, we, we're not used to that since he's been off the team, but he actually said a lot of good things about Joe Judge. And talk about Joe Judge as a head coach and why I'm so confident about the New York Giants going forward with him at the helm. And at the end of the day, the, the most important thing on a football team is the head coach. Most people might say the quarterback, the general manager, whatever it may be, the head coach. Yeah, I try to give credit to Dave Gettleman when I feel like it's appropriate. I thought he had a good offseason. But at the end of the day, the most important driving factor to this was Joe Judge. Because I think a lot of players around the league are seeing what Joe Judge brings to the table. And that's accountability. And that's culture. And I know a lot of Giants fans, uh, a couple of years ago when we were trading away Odell Beckham, Janoris Jenkins was you know saying what he said about the players on the team. You had DeAndre Baker falling asleep in meetings. Giants fans laughed at the notion of culture because we heard about it really since 2018 um, when Pat Shermer first took the job. Um, and there was no culture. There was no structure. There was nothing that was being built with the New York Giants. As a matter of fact, you could say it was the complete opposite. But since Joe Judge took, took over for the New York Giants, you've seen it as clear as day. And the Giants last year didn't have the most talent, okay? Not even close. And they definitely buffed that up this free agency period with bringing guys like Adore Jackson, bringing guys like Kenny Galladay, and just more experience on this football team. But the Giants didn't have the most talent. I think we could all agree with that. As a matter of fact, going into um, last season, I think most of us thought that we lacked talent on the defensive side of the football, along with the offensive side as well. The offense obviously underperformed a lot. There were factors, and we'll see how they respond this year with some of the additions that they've had. But why I'm so confident with Joe Judge and why I'm not even really worried about the draft. One, I think we're set up beautifully for the draft right now in terms of the first, second round. I think we filled in a lot of needs and it's given the Giants the ability to kind of try to pick the best player available. And yes, we certainly still have some needs, whether it's on the offensive line, whether it's on the edge, whether it's at the wide receiver. I trust Joe Judge. I trust Patrick Graham. I trust this coaching staff because we have brilliant minds at the top that I think are going to get the most out of whatever players that we bring in. And that's the first time in a long time that I could say this about this New York Giants coaching staff. When's the last time you honestly felt that players wanted to come to the New York Giants, that wanted to be New York Giants? You hear some of the things that Kenny Galladay had to say, and, and I'm going to get into some of the quotes as well, but Galladay sought out the Giants. And maybe part of it had to do with the fact that he knew the Giants were looking for him, but I think some of it had to do with what he's seeing going on. We're going to pull up the Kyle Rudolph quote as well. He went on to say he had 12 or 13 options in terms of where to play. But when he heard Joe Judge talk and Jason Garrett talk, ironically enough, he was bought in and he wanted to be a part of this culture. You hear Logan Ryan talking about it. And it gets you excited as a New York Giant fan. And at the end of the day, you know, some guys won't buy in until such time they see winning. And I understand that. But this team is absolutely headed down the right path. And the main reason for it is the man at the top, and that's Joe Judge. I love what he's bringing to this football team, but let's pull up some of the quotes from the article. First thing I wanted to pull up was from Tiki Barber. This is from the New York Post article. It's a different mentality, Coach Judge has brought, Barber said. He's so real. It's refreshing to have that in New York. That's the biggest change. These guys are excited about where the team is headed. And, you know, the one thing I always say about Joe Judge, since he's taken the job, it's about family. It's about culture. It's about putting nobody above anybody else. And a lot, and he got criticized for a lot of his methods, right? A lot of people in the New York media, the broad media, they'd say, oh, you know, he's not naming Saquon Barkley the starting running back. He's not naming Daniel Jones the starting quarterback, right? He's not, you know, he, he, it's elementary. This isn't going to work. The tennis balls, the practicing in the mud, the diving in the mud while he was getting hosed down for fumble drills. He was mocked for that. He was even mocked for the way that he handled free agency this year by members of the media all over Twitter um, by bringing in Kenny Galladay for a three-day visit. But Joe Judge is the type of guy that wants to be 1,000% sure that not only is he bought into you, but you're bought into what he is trying to bring to the table. He's not a coach for everybody, but I feel like he's the type of coach that when he finds the players that he wants to bring here, he is absolutely going to get the most out of. You could say the same thing about a guy like Bill Belichick. Next thing we're going to bring up is this. 
this about Adore Jackson. Adore Jackson said his conversation with the Giants players convinced him they understand what Judge is looking for and what he wants. Just everybody being on the same page and being cohesive. That's the biggest thing. Galladay said after hearing the uh, vision laid out by Judge and the offensive coordinator Jason Garrett, they had me right there. Veteran tight end Kyle Rudolph said he had 12 or 13 teams interested in him. But after getting off the phone with Judge and Garrett, he told his wife during lunch, I knew New York was the place that I needed to be. You, There is no way players would ever say that about Ben McAdoo. There is no way that players would ever say that uh, you know, about Pat Shermer. And Tom Coughlin obviously had long success. And a big reason he did is because the players respected him and they and he was organized and they bought into what he was trying to do and we're starting to get that back with Joe Judge. Another quote, Joe Judge takes the glitz and the glamour out of it and brings it back to fundamentals and football and team first mentality. Safety Logan Ryan said, that is refreshing for guys to know that they are going to get pushed on the practice field and be pushed to be better players and work together to play winning football. Some guys still believe in getting coached up. Like, I want to be the great And Joe Judge has been a part of great organizations, and he seems like a great coach. They have have great players over there. I want to be over there. He's basically, you know, he's just saying what players are are saying about the New York Giants. And as the New York Giants get a better reputation, so on and so forth, yeah, obviously we're not going to have a ton of money to spend in free agency next year, but as it improves and players like being there, it's going to improve the team around him. These players are going to want to get better. People will feed off one another. That That is my honest belief. And I think Joe Judge was the perfect fit because he inherited a very young football team that you could build from the ground up. He didn't have veterans that were stuck in their ways. You can't teach an old dog new tricks. And I think it's a big reason why Joe Judge ultimately took this job. Another thing I want to pull up for you was this. We've gotten enamored with believing players want to be coddled. And you need a player's coach, Tiki Barber, uh, the Giants' all-time leading rusher told the Post. What these guys actually want is a coach they respect, that they can believe in, and they know he's not one way with some people and another way with other people. It is a testament to Coach Judge. And that's another thing that Judge said. He said, you know, when he took the job, when you come into the building, it's about business. It's about winning football. But I'm going to care about these players. I'm going to show I care about these players. And I think that's what he's done. I think he's instilled a good winning culture. And I think another thing, you know, that I think really helped uh, Joe Judge and, and legitimizing himself as a coach was something that he got bashed for with, you know, how he handled the Philadelphia Eagles situation when he kind of talked about the way that Doug Peterson handled the players. And I think a lot of players probably heard that and they said, that's the type of guy that I want to come play for. And I always go back to that quote. And, and you know, this is what he had to say about when the Eagles ended up intentionally losing a football game and embarrassing themselves on national TV. To disrespect the game by going out there and not competing for 60 minutes, to do everything you can to help those, uh, not do everything you can to help those players win, we will never do that as long as I'm the head coach for the New York Giants, Judge told reporters on Monday. And I remember when Judge said that, that he got bashed by members of the media saying that he's going, you know, it's over the top and he's going over his head. But at the end of the day, the thing that I love about Joe Judge, and really the thing that I like about Dave Gettin, but more so Joe Judge, he doesn't care what the media thinks. He's confident in himself. He's confident in what he's building. And if you don't believe in him, he doesn't want you there. And I think that is why he took as much time with he did as he did with Kenny Galladay. And I think that is why he took so much time with Adora Jackson. I think Judge got this team going down the right path. And I think this Giants team is going to be good. And they're going to be good for a very long time. Because when you find the right coach, you look around at guys like Belichick. You look around at like guys like Reed and Tomlin and Harbaugh. You're good for a long time. And I think it has more to do, or at least as much to do, with the man at the top, the head coach, than the talent in itself. You find the right coach that knows how to set things up and get the most out of his players and gets players to buy in and give everything that they have, that goes a long way. And I think that's what Joe Judge brings to the table for the New York Giants. And I wish it was September right now, because I can't wait for this team to get out on the field and prove the doubters wrong in his second year as the New York Giants head coach. As always, guys, if you liked what you watched, please subscribe, drop a comment, maybe give me a little thumbs up. Cheers.